You are listening to episode 169 of the Peaceful Mind Podcast. Welcome to the Peaceful Mind Podcast, a place for creating the peace of mind you need to be the best mom you are created by God to be. If you want to bring more balance, more joy, and more peace to your motherhood, this is the place for you. I'm your host, Certified Life Coach and Catholic Mom, Danielle Tienel. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, let's get started. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to the podcast. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are here and looking how to explore ways to find peace in the chaos of everyday life, then you are in the right place. In this episode this week, we'll be discussing how to unlock your full potential. And in doing so, we need to overcome fear and doubt that may be holding you back from living the life that God has destined for you. I love that my clients get to a point after we work together for a while, after they apply and learn the tools and concepts and work with a life coach ongoing that they're no longer at a place where there is something just like challenging or going wrong or just causing them, you know, stress and anxiety in their life. A lot of times what they originally came to me for is because life gave them a circumstance or they had a pattern that they couldn't break or just, you know, something came into their life that they wanted the help and support to get through. But Once you have committed to coaching and you apply what I give here on the podcast, my clients do get to this certain point where we will have sessions where they'll be like, you know, things are good. And at that point, I get so excited because I'm like, we get to concentrate and focusing and focus on now unlocking some potential that we haven't been able to tap into because all of our time and energy has been going to this, you know, certain subject. So this episode has spawned out of me having several clients who are really celebrating how far they've come and their wins. And we were talking about how it was time to kind of unlock their potential and go after some things that are fun and adventurous and just because it would feel good to raise satisfaction in a new area and try something new. But whenever we do that, right, doubt and fear, they just, they're, it's like they got the invitation to the party and they're ringing the doorbell and there they are like, ooh, you said you were going to go after something, something new. So here's fear and doubt. And so they already have me there for support in order to help not let fear and doubt hold them back. And on today's episode, I just wanted to share some of that knowledge with you on what we do to help unlock our potential. And as faith-filled moms, as Christian moms, and in my case, a Catholic mom, we often get caught up in the busyness of life, taking care of our families, and putting others before ourselves. But it's essential to remember that God made us for great things. And regardless of what stage of motherhood you are in and what your circumstances are, you can unlock something within you and start to make small steps towards those goals and aspirations that light you up when you think about attaining them. Because again, we all have a different purpose and unique talents that we can use to make a positive impact on our own lives and our family's lives and those around us. But it will always be something that first starts out in our mind and our heart, including fear and doubt showing up in our minds. And that is the transformation that we are after. We're after the ones where we are using our unique talents and making a positive impact in our lives and our families' lives. But that transformation, the one that's inside of us first, 
that's like the first domino, so to speak, that needs to fall before anything else you want to come to light can then happen. It always begins with ourselves and it begins in the mind, which is why I want to bring peace of mind if you are looking to unlock your potential and go after something. But how do we unlock our full potential and overcome this fear and doubt that may be holding us back? Well, that's why I'm doing this episode because I want to give you some tips and I know that they would help you unlock your full potential. So let's let's jump in. Are you ready? Okay. First, what we want to do is we want to identify our limiting beliefs. That's right. We want to get inside and, and explore what's going on inside our mind. What have we been believing that's holding us back? We got to reveal it. That first step to unlocking your potential is to identify those limiting beliefs, those thoughts that you've had, the patterns of, of what you have been thinking so often that you believe are true about yourself that may be holding you back. And oftentimes these beliefs are subconscious and they are a result of your past experiences or they are a result of continual negative self-talk that you that you give to yourself. So you want to identify them. It's exactly what I do with my clients on a daily basis. Because once you've identified them, then we challenge them. Okay. And that's what, with questioning and seeing how we, we could be wrong, how there could be another way, how it's really something we've just believed over and over again. And it's, it feels true to us, but it really isn't. We want to challenge them because only then when we challenge them, can we begin to replace them and replacing them with a different thought and belief. And more times than not, this new belief and new thought will be more positive than the one that you've held before. So one way that, that identifying your limiting beliefs, how we can kind of get that stirred up is to, maybe you're more familiar with the words, my strengths and weaknesses. If I asked you what your strengths were or what your weaknesses were, or what's, what's great about you, or what do you not like about yourself, that would reveal, that would be a great place to start that would reveal your limiting beliefs. So to unlock your potential, it's important to know what you're good at, because it will let us know where you need to improve. And in that area that you need to improve might just be what unlocks it for you. So this self-awareness will help you focus your efforts and make the most of your talents and will reveal the obstacles that your brain are telling you, those weaknesses or that negative self-talk. And just by identifying them and challenging them and replacing them, that definitely is the step to unlock your full potential. Okay, let's look at another way to unlock your full potential. And this is, this step is clarifying your goals. Now this is one, this is actually the second step in my process that I help all of my clients when they are moving to their overwhelmed and busy and stressful life to getting to the life that you do want, which is full of patience and peace and productivity. We need to know where you're going. So to unlock your potential, clarify your goals. And in so, we want to make them achievable goals. Ones that, you know, are a little bit challenging and scary, but there's this teeny ounce of, it's possible for me. That's all I need. I need just the door cracked open a little bit to thinking, hmm, this is this could be possible for me. So having clear goals in your mind is crucial because we, in order to make our goals like achievable and know the steps, we want brains love specificity. So we want our goals to be specific. We want to break them down into small, actionable steps. We want to make it so that we can actually measure them. 
And again, having that little belief that it is achievable for you. So this is where I like you to take a large goal and then ask yourself, what could I do today that would give me a little bit of progress there? And then I like to give myself a, you know, an end time. I will do it by this date or time because brains love that measurement. But in order to know these goals, we actually have to sit there a moment and create a vision for ourselves. Let's say that that potential was totally unlocked. There was a key, we turned the key, it popped open, and there's your vision. What is it? Do you take time to visualize the life you want to live and the specific goals you want to achieve? Most times when I meet clients, this is where their brain has been so focused on what's not going well, what's not going right, what needs to be done, what needs to be fixed. And then they create more of that because they don't have that greater vision. So taking taking some time to visualize the life you want to live will help you create a roadmap. And this is what allows you to stay focused on your priorities. Because if you know the end and then you break it down into how to get there, that reveals your steps. And so you'll know what to prioritize. What's the next step? What's the next step? And of course, we want to make sure that your goals are aligned with things that you want to achieve, that they align with your values. Okay, let's move on to another tip to unlock your potential. And that is, this is probably not going to be the, you know, the glorified one. This is probably going to be the one that your brain rejects a little bit, but that's okay. And that it's to embrace failure. We want to reframe our definition of failure to now seeing it as a beautiful learning opportunity. The fear that comes in when we set ourselves on this unlocking of potential, these bigger goals or these challenges that we want to take on, it is going, uh, fear is going to come. It is going to come very fast at the very beginning. And I want you to embrace not being afraid to fail. Instead, use your failures as opportunities to learn and grow. And again, like I said, I love this reframe your thoughts, your perspective, and know that setbacks, that's just part of the process. That's just each each obstacle, each setback, each failure is going to give you some really vital information, at least, at the very least, of what doesn't work, right? So then rather than feel defeated, I want you to open up to be like, if I'm going to live my full potential, like, yep, here it is. Here's a failure. Here's a setback. That's totally part of it. There isn't anyone who's achieved something great in your mind that when you would talk to them that they were, they're going to tell you, oh, it was smooth road all the way. No. And in fact, what they will remember is when they were met with that, um, you know, they were met with that setback and they didn't quit and they went through it anyway. So come with a growth mindset, the belief that you can build the skill and develop your abilities to go through the hard work and continue with dedication, no matter what like mountains appear in front of you. Because it is essential to embrace challenges and view them as opportunities to learn and grow. Because failure is not final, it's the natural part of the learning process. And if you are going to decide that you are going to you know, step into a new version of yourself, make great changes, take on, you know, new challenge. It's a natural part of the learning process. I am about to um, have two books published. I can't wait to share them with my listeners. And I've actually already given them out to my current clients and it will be available soon. But when I took on 
I was unlocked, when I took on that task, I was unlocking some potential I had in myself to be an author. And you better believe that I had doubt and fear show up right away. And I still do. I still do. Along the way, I had, I, I had some setbacks. And I'm still not all the way at the finish line. And I was able to embrace that that was a natural part of going from idea of book to it actually being a thing out in the world. I expected it. And that is why I was able to to push through and to ultimately not give up, but have these books produced because I embraced failure. One of the other things that I did is I actually stopped talking about it and dreaming about it and thinking about it. And I did the next thing that I'm going to give you as a tip in order to unlock your potential. And that is to take action, right? It would have been so easy for me to get caught up in overthinking on what the perfect book would be and planning it all out. And for a good while, a very long while, I did just that. I kept it all like in my mind or I talked about it, but I didn't take any action on it. And it was only when I did that, when I started taking small steps toward that goal. And I had to ask for help from a lot of other people who knew a lot of things more than I did. So I I had to put my fear aside to even ask for help when I needed it. But because I finally took action and then I accomplished that piece and then I learned something new and then I failed and had a setback, but I kept going and I took another step and another step. And that's why it's not even like totally finished now because even once the book is made and or written, then you have formatting and covers and then you have publishing and delivering and whole bunch more decisions to make. But with each action, you are that much closer to the results. So unlocking your potential is going to need you having to take action. And I want to stress that when you do take this action, remember, we're after progress, not perfection. And one of the actions that I want to promote to you, that I want to stress to you, that when you take on something new, when you decide to go after something, when you feel like God placed something in your heart and you were, you were made for more, I think one of the most helpful actions you can take is to surround yourself with supportive people. Surround yourself with people who believe in you and your potential and seek out mentors and coaches and role models who can guide and inspire you along your journey, especially because we know of the previous tip, because we want to embrace failure. And it's a whole lot easier when you have surrounded yourself with supportive guides, mentors, coaches, and again, people who believe in you. Okay. The last step, which I could personally say is the most important is to trust in God. As Christian women, moms, we know that our ultimate source of strength and guidance comes from God. So pray for guidance and trust that God will lead you towards the path he has destined for you. If you feel in your heart that there is more, that you have a potential for something other than what you're seeing in your life now, seek guidance and inspiration from him. You can turn to him and pray for discernment and wisdom and strength to pursue these goals. And of course, ask for his will to be done. And also, this is something that I do. I also ask him to shut the doors or take the desire away if it's not something that is aligned with his plan for me. And we can seek inspiration from scripture and the teachings of our church. 
because as I draw on my favorite scripture, when you go to unlock your full put potential, remember that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. And when I call upon those words, I know that fear and doubt have nothing against the strength that I have that comes to me through Christ. So remember that when you decide to unlock your full potential, it's a journey and it takes time. It takes dedication and a willingness to step out of your comfort zone. But with God's grace and these tips that I've given you today on the episode, you can overcome fear and doubt and live the life that God has destined for you. All right, my friends, thank you so much for being here. And also know that I would love for you to join me on a call to see if working with me one-on-one or in my group life coaching program is right for you. So go ahead and take a look in the show notes and see how you can sign up for us to meet in person. Thank you again for being here, and I will talk to you again next week. Thank you for tuning in to today's episode of the Peaceful Mind Podcast. Are you ready to take everything I teach you here and put it to work for your own life? To really learn how to have peace of mind no matter what is happening around you? If so, I'd love to have you as a client. As your coach, this is where you'll get personal and focused time on your own mind using life coaching tools, concepts, and proven life transforming wisdom, all through a faith filled lens. To learn more about how we can work together, come on over to DanielleTienel.com. There, you'll see how to sign up for a free coaching consult and learn how to get started. Until next time, peace be with you always.